Hobbscene.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we've got a Belgian beer. It's a new one on me. It's a brewery called Brasserie La Rose and it's the Estival, which is a 5.2% ABV Belgian pale ale, which sounds really exciting. Big thanks to the guys at Beer Merchants for sending me this over to take a look at. The exciting thing about it is it's hopped with Cascade and Amarillo, Ace. Here's the best bit. So they're used in the same yeast that they use at um, the uh, Orval Trappist, Bro uh, Trappist uh, Monastery. It sounds really exciting. Love Orval. So it's kind of like, is it kind of going to be a bit like Orval-esque but with American hops? Because that sounds awesome. So if you like the sound of this, get online, check out Beer Merchants. Great online shop, been around for quite a while. And also, while you're there, check, check out the guys at the Craft Beer Channel. Obviously, if you're watching this, you've already seen their fantastic channel. So, Beer in the Glass, hazy, pale golden beer, perfect. Kind of white head to it. I think they're using um, Pilsner malt and something else uh, for the malt of this. And you can see that beautiful, perfect, kind of ivory coloured head. Looks great. Looks like a great looking beer. So, let's check out the aroma. Not much. Oh, there we go. A lot of white grape. <sighs> Hint of um. Oh yeah, again that kind of slight bready nose. Um. Lemon curd. Gooseberry. Hint of um. Kiwi. Unripened banana. You are getting a little bit of that kind of like slightly bready nose that you get from Orval, but not as funky. Like fresh Orval. But I, I, I don't know if you inoculate um, Orval with fresh bread. That smells really appealing. It's, it's, it's such a clean, slightly floral, floral aroma. <laughs> Let's dive in. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, it's lovely. It's just so crisp. So, Estivale, I think it means summer. Estivale. Sorry, I'm getting all Italian on you. And that's exactly what it is. It's a lovely, crisp, summery beer. Nice. It's just got so much going on. It's really interesting. You're getting a lot of those um, typical Belgian notes. I'm going to say something like a, like a peach Danish or something. You're getting that kind of like um, enriched dough kind of brioche kind of thing going on. You'll get a hint of unripened banana. Quite dry, quite effervescent. Bitterness of lemon peel and, and um, lime zest. Yeah, ends quite dry. You'll get that kind of slightly funky note in there. Floral once again. Yeah, it's lovely. You're getting that crispness of the malt. You're getting a little bit of a spike of bitterness and slightly uh, American hop note in that kind of like le citrus element. But then you're getting that little <whistles> frisson of um, excitement coming from the all values. Mm. That's lovely. I mean, as far as kind of Belgian pale ale goes, this is right up there. Because it's just doing everything to absolute perfection. Wow. Mm -hmm. Love this. Love it. I'm not just saying it, because I got sent it for free. <laughs> but big thanks to the guys at Bay for sending this, because I'm a, I'm a book by the cover man. And I'd have never gone for that. I, I think I've had, um, um, is it Jean Chris? I think they do a beer called, uh, called that, which I had the um, uh, um, Mode Lambique in, um, in Brussels. But that's the only beer I've ever had from them, which is very much Belgian with that slightly more kind of modern quality to it. And I think I've, heard, I've always heard relatively good things about this brewery. I guess it, just, it looks so traditional that you won't think, oh yeah, they've um, <coughs> hopped it with Amarillo and Cascade and used North Valley's. Ace, love it. So that's Brasley La Rules. And it's the Estival Summer Ale at 5.2% ABV. Lovely stuff, really is. Get online, get to beer merchants. Buy yourself some, you will not regret it, especially if you like a bit of Orval, but you want it a bit more quaffable. 
Lovely stuff. I'm Rob from Palpatine.com and I'll see you next time. Cheers.